What are the benefits of growth hormone? What's the difference between growth hormone and growth hormone releasing peptides? What's the catch? How can I boost my growth hormone naturally? Growth hormone basically repairs and rejuvenates the body and men and women use it for improvements in body composition, so more muscle and less fat, anti-aging and for healing injuries. So there's going to be lots of information in this video, so remember to save it. Growth hormone is made in and released primarily by the pituitary gland in your brain and it's controlled by growth hormone releasing hormone, which is important when we talk about peptides. Before we dive into peptides and synthetic HGH, let's look quickly how we can boost growth hormone naturally so everybody's included. Fasting increases the release of growth hormone and because growth hormone and insulin oppose each other, growth hormone is naturally released between about 10 p.m. and 12 a.m. when we're sleeping. And this is when we do our physical repair in bed. So if you go to bed late, you're missing out on this healing and this growth hormone boost. Now you can buy growth hormone, but it can be very expensive. It's often fake and you can overdose, which has side effects. So this is where the peptides come in. And this is for education and entertainment purposes only, not medical advice. Growth hormone releasing peptides or secretagogues such as GHRP6, hexarelin, ipamorelin, MK677 are synthetic versions of growth hormone releasing hormone that I mentioned earlier. These peptides and compounds encourage the natural release of growth hormone from your pituitary gland. So you can't overdose as you're basically booting your pituitary gland in the bum and making it produce an extra burst of growth hormone for you. Now remember that growth hormone won't come out naturally if insulin is high, so don't use peptides with carbs and a sugar meal. Growth hormone binds specific receptors and has activities in the body relating to healing, but it turns into IGF or insulin-like growth factor in the liver, which has effects on fat, muscle, bone, and so forth. And you need the Goldilocks amount of IGF-1 because too little is harmful and can be aging, but too much can potentially promote the growth of unwanted cancer cells. But if you look in the research, there's no definitive study that says that IGF or growth ho hormone are a carcinogen, but please do your own research and use your common sense. I've made a free Facebook group which you can join. The link's in my bio. Remember to answer the questions and add value if you join. So thanks for watching. Follow for more science.